Well, the developer there. Today I want to show you my new STM32 modules. I want, I'm going to solder them. Uh, these uh, pins are uh, shipped separately, so I have soldered uh, one of them. And I want to record this uh, and show you what I'm doing. Also, I noticed uh, some very interesting difference between these do those modules and uh, I will show you later. So let's begin with the soldering part. I want to make it very uh, tidy. This is uh, my NC559 flux. As, as you can guess, I have bought it on AliExpress. It's a good flux, but uh, you should, uh, if you want to buy some flux from AliExpress, you should check the uh, color. If it's dark colored, it's a bad flux. I have I had one, and uh, it's uh, literally un unusable, and, and and it stinks and not doing his job. So this uh, like more uh, more pale uh, flux is better. Let's start. This is my T twelve iron and this uh, T12 iron is very good uh, compared to other Chinese uh, irons I can uh, I can definitely uh, recommend it this is a uh, Quico T12 station. This board is a uh, STM32 F1, and another board, the black one, this one is, uh, uh, is the STM32 F4 uh, module. So it should be a lot faster and a lot it it has a lot more resources and uh, ram and uh, flash size and cpu resources so we can uh, can do different jobs for it this module should should have some something less CPU and, and memory intensive. We are almost done. I want to recheck the soldering of SWD port. Let's check it. This is a bit. Chinese soldering. I want to enforce them because uh, those pins are a bit stressed when you put in and out the SWD interface. And also, I don't want some bugs and issues with this. This device. So let's go for next. This is STM 32F4 module. It is black and very fancy. Let's, let's attach the SWD port. 
interface. Let's um, put these IO pins. I should uh, make some, uh, some alignment yeah, so the pins won't, uh, won't be soldered like that or like that. I use this like a little board to align, to align it. We can go through quick and efficient way. I want to show these modules uh, to com compare their performance in future and want to show you guys how this module is faster or, or slower maybe <laughs> than this uh, F1 module I believe this particular type should be a lot faster than, than usual also it has much more memory i want to use it in my future project uh, my future secret project which i don't want to disclose yet so, so for now we are going to compare them benchmark do some stuff And basically check what's going on with them I'm not very proficient with uh, Arduino and um, embed, embedded technologies and, uh, I'm just learning like maybe as you but uh, I should say I'm proficient in software development development so it's not a problem for me to like firmware or to find the bugs find bugs and to, like debug software and things like that and also I know something about um, components electronic components how they work what's the difference between i don't know diode and and resistor and things so on things like that but those modules are something new for me so we can learn together if you will what's going on in there why why does, does it does not melt as i want yeah it's ground polygon very big if you have like bad soldering iron or bad soldering iron tips it can be very uh, hard to to melt ground polygons and things like that because it's taking so much heat and i can recommend to use good soldering iron and good uh, 
tips, especially good tips, because um, if your tip, uh, if your iron tip is made of uh, copper, it can help you a lot, really a lot. You can melt to literally giant polygons and things like that. But if you have like cheap uh, Chinese uh, tips like mine, it it can be problem. It can be a problem because a Chinese tips are not made <laughs> from uh, from copper as it should, and uh, so they don't have uh, uh, big heat uh, capacity and when you touch the giant polygon your heat just your heat is just disappearing because polygons are made from copper and your uh, iron is not <laughs> that's the one that's the basically the problem hmm. Almost done there. It's just a quick video. I want to record how I do it. Uh, maybe someone can be interested how to solder them. It's very easy thing. Let's check it. I think. The soldering is good. Maybe I should correct this ground pin. The ground pins is most problematic sometimes. Also, notice you should not make a joint between ground and tree uh, three walls pin because in this case you will short uh, three volt rail and you can damage this way the stabilizer three volt stabilizer Okay, let's clean the flux. I have this isopropyl alcohol. I usually I do this like that. Yeah, oh, what's done? Also, I have uh, I have got no new ST Link uh, driver. Of course, it <laughs> it's also Chinese, <laughs> but I think it should work better because uh, uh, because it like Chinese brand thing. And uh, maybe if I sh if I found if I find something interesting for you, I can shoot another video about that. Uh, okay, we will compare those modules uh, in in a further series, and maybe you want some experiments or things to check uh, if you have some comments put them in, into this uh, in comment sections uh, so don't forget to clean your bots and don't forget to like and subscribe